Live from downtown Spokane, this is 4 News Now at 6. Well, it's great to have you with us here tonight. I'm Jordan Smith. It's been a brilliant, warm, sunny day here in the Northwest. Temperatures reaching 50 degrees, and they're here to stay, at least for a couple of days. Let's send things over to meteorologist Matt Gray for this bizarrely warm weather, Matt. Uh, yeah, I think everybody's, it got so beautiful this afternoon. Everybody kind of forgot that we woke up to rain this morning. We hit 55 degrees in Spokane, and that was shockingly close to the January 28th record, which still stands at 58 degrees. But here's the thing, we got so warm today, and I think there is a very good chance that we could continue on with sunshine tomorrow and so I've gone ahead and said hey we're going to run it back tomorrow we're going to hit 55 again around the Spokane area the difference is tomorrow's record is only 53 degrees set back in 2018 and so Monday yeah we're talking about record warmth around the inland northwest and we did set a record in Lewiston where it hit 59 degrees today so record heat today as well we're going to start tomorrow off with a little bit of fog I do expect some of that to develop overnight and then quickly warm into the 50s right around lunchtime believe it or not and then we'll be up into those middle and upper 50s for the afternoon now, when I say upper 50s, we did see upper 50s across the Spokane Valley today. We saw some spots get close to 60, and I expect that again, basically from the Liberty Lake and East Farms area all the way into downtown Spokane. It is going to be very toasty for mid-January. Now, it is not going to be perfectly dry and beautiful through the entirety of this, uh, this round of heat, January heat in the inland northwest. We are going to be tracking some rain later this week. And I'll show you when we'll start cooling back down again and maybe when it'll start feeling like winter again coming up. All right, Matt, thanks for that. And as today's temperatures soared into the 50s, many people around Spokane got to get outside today and enjoy these unusually warm days, uh, winter temperatures, I should say. Many people drawn to Manitou Park, as were some ducks who had some plenty of water to swim in. That field flooded by a couple of inches of water. In downtown, Riverfront Park was also bustling with visitors. One family telling 4 News Now today was a great day to get outside and skate at the ribbon. <laughs> We've come to ice skate in beautiful weather. We have some hot chocolate ready, and I don't know that we'll need it to be I hot. <laughs> And again, uh, this ice ribbon comes after closing down earlier this month for being too cold to skate outside. So I don't think they're going to need hot chocolate to stay warm today. The official high, again, 55 degrees today. And if you didn't have a chance to catch today's amazing temperatures, they are expected to hang around for a little bit. But just remember, as the snow and ice continue to melt, most terrains are going to start to get a little bit slippery. So be sure to wear some waterproof shoes and maybe take a little extra caution as you walk around. Early this morning in Stevens County, a, uh, a fire destroyed a small metal shop. According to the Stevens County Fire District, the flames were quickly brought under control, but not before the shop in Suncrest and everything inside of it was burnt to the ground. The fire district says improper heating appears to be the cause of the fire. Fortunately, there were no injuries. The February special election is just around the corner. <laughs> At least 10 school districts in Spokane County came together in downtown yesterday, rallying in support of the bonds and levies on the ballot this year. One parent says this funding is critical for extracurriculars, things like sports and theater. For me, it's really important so that our kids can get just the extra opportunities because everything provided at the state level is so basic. They don't get any of the extra, the sports, the clubs, art, music, the things that really help them feel involved. And some of those bonds will go towards other things like repairing or replacing older schools in the district. Anyone attending Washington State University next year should expect to pay a little bit more. The WCU Board of Regents approved a 3% raise in tuition on Friday. A full-time resident undergrad can now expect to see an increase of a little over $300 starting this fall. Students in the pharmacy, veterinary, or nursing programs will not be affected by this increase. Tomorrow, the City Council will vote on an ordinance that would expand the use of beer gardens across Spokane. The Family Friendly Festival's ordinance was introduced earlier this month by Spokane City Council members Paul Dillon and Zach Zappone. The ordinance would allow for all age beer gardens on city street events. Zappone says this ordinance would allow families to stay together at street festivals, making events like these more family friendly 
while still aligning with local and state liquor guidelines. The City Council expected to vote on this tomorrow evening. And still much more ahead here on 4 News now at 6, including another look at these warmer temperatures. Plus, we hit the campaign trail to see the very latest on this presidential campaign from Donald Trump and President Joe Biden. Stick ahead. And we are keeping an eye on fog formation in the inland northwest. You knew what was going to happen after a rainy weekend. Fog already really starting to lower visibilities around places like Sandpoint, Bonners Ferry, and OMAC. Expect more fog in the morning and then another run at record-setting temperatures in the afternoon. We'll show you how long this little January heat wave is going to last. Coming up. Connect with 4 News Now on KXLY+. Plus. Inside Edition. These are the stories that impact your life. At Carpet One, we're here to floor you. You can save like never before during our flooring blowout. Hurry in to see our beautiful options and learn about our special financing. Panhandle Carpet One Floor and Home, West Appleway Avenue. My dry eyes made me a burning, stinging five times a day. Makeup smearing, drops user. I want another option. That's not another drop. Tirvaya, it's not another drop. It's the first and only nasal spray for dry eye. Tirvaya treats the signs and symptoms of dry eye disease fast by helping your body produce its own real tears. Common side effects include sneezing, cough, and throat and nose irritation. Relying only on drops? Not me. My own real tears are my relief. Ask your eye doctor about Tirvaya. Ironstone Furniture and Fire is making room for new inventory. For a limited time, you can create your ideal space and save on in-stock selections. Sofas. Chairs. Tables. And more. Comfortable and beautiful furniture makes a house feel like home. Visit our showroom, Ironstone Furniture and Fire in Coeur d'Alene. As a mom, a food blogger, a wife, and a business owner, time is everything. So whenever something comes along and frees up some of my time, it's a game changer. Electrolux has made my life that much better. With a little more time for this, and this, and this, and this. And the Fred's family made it so easy from selecting the perfect model to their swift installation. Fred's is a game changer. Celebrate the new year in style with your home improvement company. Make 2024 the year that your dream bathroom becomes a reality. Enjoy up to 40% off your entire bathroom project installed in one day or less. And enjoy zero interest, zero payments, and zero down until 2025. Our certified professionals will ensure a worry-free installation backed by material and labor warranties. Hurry, this offer ends soon. Call now to schedule your free consultation. Your home improvement company where it's your home made better. At Carpet One, we're here to floor you. You can save like never before during our flooring blowout. Hurry in to see our beautiful options and learn about our special financing. Panhandle, Carpet One Floor and Home, West Appleway Avenue. Watch live weekdays at 9 and now 3. Only on KXLY, ABC4. Welcome back. It's time to go for a ride on the Air 4 Adventure Drone. A nature preserve behind Mead High School has miles of trails and access to the Little Spokane River. Let's fly above Waikiki Springs Nature Preserve in this week's Air 4 Adventure. Welcome to the Waikiki Springs Nature Preserve. Uh, it's 95 acres here on the north shore of the Little Spokane River uh, between Dartford and the, the Kalispell Golf Course. This is an area where there are 114 acres of Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife land in, a, in addition to the 95 acres of the Waikiki Springs Nature Preserve, which creates about a 200 acre open space for the, the community, the public to come and recreate. Waikiki Springs comes from a geographic function where springs of aquifer water actually leak out of the hillside in quite a, a large volume, to be honest with you, and that recharges the Little Spokane River. So the trails here begin with the trailhead up off of Mill Road uh, at the north, uh, the north end of Fairwood. Then the trail inventory begins with uh, a road that the, the local longtime users call the Switchbacks, and that road uh, allows you to walk down into this basin, and then you, you have a number of 
of single track trails go around the property. It's one of the things that the Inland Northwest Land Conservancy is working on on these 95 acres is to come up with a trail plan and to improve the trails so that they're more user friendly. So the Inland Northwest Land Conservancy is a local land trust that has been in Spokane since 1991 and in that time we've conserved over 22,000 acres. Uh, we have a number of different nature preserves uh, from Reardon to uh, Palisades uh, neighborhood west of downtown to this nature preserve, the Waikiki Springs Nature Preserve. This is just a beautiful place to come and park and go for a hike, bring your family. I just love the Little Spokane River. It's beautiful all four seasons and it's very welcoming. It's full of nature, it's full of wildlife from bald eagles in the area to moose, coyotes. Uh, you'll see lots and lots of different animals down here. And what you're not going to see, like you saw in that uh, particular round of the Air Force Venture, is snow because we are incredibly warm and all of the snow that we had in mid-January is pretty much gone with temperatures like these. And you can kind of see the angle that this, uh, this next storm is coming in. Most of the moisture from this one is going up into British Columbia, not heading to the inland northwest, although you can see the other side of the Cascades is getting a soaking. But we are seeing these southerly winds and they are bringing in that warm tropical air mass that came with all the rain earlier this weekend. And they are gonna keep us incredibly warm for this time of the year. Because with a low of 38 in Spokane and a low of 37 in Coeur d'Alene, these are very, very close to our average highs for this point in the year. That is how warm it is. We've already seen fog developing across our northern mountains. I would expect that we'll see at least a little bit of fog creep down into the metro as we head through the night. So we start with fog. It'll likely take a little bit longer to clear in some of those sheltered valleys, but I do expect that we will see some sun peak out eventually. And when it does, you've got to watch those temperatures shoot up. 55 in Spokane, that would be a record. 54 in Pullman and Ritzville. 61 degrees in Lewiston. So it almost feels like spring break out there. Here is how the temperatures uh, kind of evolve here over the next few days. Just a little, just a few ups and downs, generally a downward trend though, and that's really just because we're gonna be cloudier. And plus as we head into Wednesday and Thursday, we're also going to begin to see a chance for rain, but we are way above that black line there, which is our average high for late January. I expect things to stay pretty quiet on the rain front, although we will be cloudier as we head into the middle of the week. Once we get to the second half of Wednesday, there should be at least a little bit of rain that gets across the Cascades, but it looks at this point like most of it is gonna be staying on the other side of the mountains. Now, once we get into Thursday, we get a bit of a stronger push. And so Thursday into Friday and then the weekend, that's when I expect things to get a little bit more active at this time. Until we get that change later in the week, we're gonna to continue to see these southerly winds, but eventually the, one of these big low pressure systems is gonna come down. It's gonna crash down into California, and that means mountain snow returns to the west, and we will have an opportunity for a little wintry mix down here in the valleys. At least that's what we're thinking as for next weekend. Now we'll see how far we cool beyond next Saturday, next Sunday, but at least there'll be a chance for it to look a little bit more and feel a little bit more like winter here in a couple of days. Now, if you are loving this warmth, and I'm sure with the beautiful sunshine, a lot of us are, definitely enjoy Monday because I don't think it's gonna be too long before the clouds return. All right, Matt, thanks for that. A bipartisan Senate deal on immigration could soon be announced, but that deal could be in jeopardy. Former President Donald Trump putting the pressure on congressional Republicans not to compromise. Meanwhile, Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas facing two articles of impeachment. ABC's Jay O'Brien is in Washington, D.C. with the story. This morning, signs a bipartisan group of senators could announce a landmark immigration deal at any moment after months of talks. Sources familiar with the negotiations telling ABC News the deal gives the Department of Homeland Security the authority to shut down the border if migrant crossings or encounters surge beyond Border Patrol's capacity. Asylum seekers would still be allowed through regular ports of entry. The bill would also speed up the processing of asylum claims, requiring cases be evaluated within six months. But this morning, signs any agreement is in jeopardy, with former President Donald Trump continuing to pressure congressional Republicans not to compromise, including last night at a rally in Nevada. 
There is zero chance I will support this horrible open borders betrayal of America. In a new statement, House Speaker Mike Johnson saying President Biden should use the legal authority he already possesses to crack down on illegal border crossings. President Biden telling lawmakers in a statement last week, if you're serious about the border crisis, pass a bipartisan bill and I will sign it. Stonewall tactics and attempts to sabotage negotiations before they even finish must be shunned. Meantime, the Biden administration locked in an escalating legal standoff with the state of Texas over Shelby Park in Eagle Pass, nestled along the border and occupied for weeks by Texas National Guard troops. This weekend, Texas's attorney general defying the Department of Homeland Security's deadline to give Border Patrol agents unrestricted access to the park after a divided Supreme Court this week allowed the federal government to resume removing razor wire Texas guardsmen installed in the area. Trust me, we have more wire than they have wire covers. So the federal government needs to do their job. They have it. And back here on Capitol Hill, lawmakers already telling me that they are concerned about if this immigration deal sputters out, what it means for Israel and for Ukraine after Republicans demanded that military assistance for both of those countries be linked to these immigration talks. Jay O'Brien, ABC News, Washington. And the impeachment of Mayorkas will likely go to a vote in the Republican-controlled House at some point, though it's unclear if it will pass. And it is unlikely the Senate will, will vote to remove Mayorkas from his job. The former president has been ordered to pay writer E. Jean Carroll $83 million for defaming her. The verdict comes after a heated day in court on Friday. At one point, Trump standing up, walking out during closing statements. Carroll says Trump shattered her reputation and made her the target of violent threats after he denied her sexual assault accusations back in 2019. Trump posted to his social media platform saying he fully disagrees with the verdict and will be appealing the decision. Taking a look around the Northwest tonight, on Friday, the Boeing MAX 9 returned to the skies, flying out of Seattle. Como reporter Jeremy Harris spoke with passengers at SeaTac while they were waiting for their Boeing flight. Here's Harris with that story. This Alaska flight from Seattle to San Diego, a sign that the airline is confident in the safety of the MAX 9. It would be nice to know that this is like a reality check for them and that they're taking it seriously. Passengers like Chloe Jackman say they're cautiously confident. Do you have confidence in Alaska? you have confidence in Boeing? Sure. I really hope that they just, you know, did all their safety checks and really did it once over, you know, with their engineers and safety teams and just got it back in line. This week, the FAA certified the inspection and repair process for the MAX 9 after a door plug flew off an Alaska flight over Portland, leaving an open hole in the side of the plane as it returned to the airport. A little bit nervous. Yeah. yeah, because of what happened. Inspections revealed loose bolts on the door plugs of other MAX 9 jets, and investigators are trying to figure out why and who was responsible for it. Who's tightening the bolts? Like, who's actually, when are, the, when are the safety inspections? How often are they happening? And are they telling us how often that's happening? Boeing's leadership has promised the issues are fixed, pausing work at the Renton Assembly Facility this week for a quality and safety work session. The flying public is counting on us. We are counting on us. Now you know that the maxes have been all been checked. So you're probably better off on a match at this point than you are. <laughs> Coming up in sports, Washington State's women's hoops earned its biggest win in program history. The highlight from their historic win over number two UCLA coming up after the break. Livestream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Ready for action? It's no holds barred as King of the Cage features new and upcoming MMA stars battling it out for the next big ticket fight. King of the Cage, live at Coeur d'Alene Casino, Thursday, February 15th. Winning is just the beginning. This is how it feels to do more with less asthma, thanks to Dupixent. Dupixent is not for sudden breathing problems. It's an add-on treatment for specific types of moderate to severe asthma and can help improve lung function for better breathing. In as little as two weeks, Dupixent helps prevent asthma attacks and can even reduce or eliminate oral steroids. Imagine that. 
Dude picks and can cause allergic reactions that can be severe. Get help right away if you have rash, chest pain, worsening shortness of breath, tingling, or numbness in your limbs. Tell your doctor about new or worsening joint aches and pain or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines, including steroids, without talking to your doctor. Who knows what you can do when you do more with less asthma? Ask your doctor about Dupixent, the most prescribed biologic for asthma. Home. It's both a place and a feeling. At yours, you strive to make new memories, create traditions, share stories, find the fun, embrace the surprises, and celebrate moments big and small. Memories are made at home, in every room, in every moment. Make your house feel like home at the Tin Roof. We're not supposed to be out here, which is exactly why we are. With standard all-wheel drive, specially tuned off-road drive mode, designed to bring the outdoors in. The off-road ready Mazda CX-50. We're looking for outsiders. Right now at Foothills Mazda, get 0% financing for five years and zero down payment with approved credit on the all-wheel drive Mazda CX-50. Shop now at SpokaneMazda.com. Take me home tonight. Queen Nation, the ultimate tribute to the music of Queen, live at the Coeur d'Alene Casino Thursday, March 7th. Get your tickets now for the number one ranked Queen Tribute Act. The winning is just the beginning. Thanks for tuning in to sports. I'm Julian Middensohn. The last time Washington State women's hoops played UCLA was in the Pac-12 championship game last season. The Cougars beat the Bruins to capture their first ever Pac-12 title in school history. UCLA would be looking for revenge in this year's matchup. The Cougars would be looking for another upset. WSU in Los Angeles taking on the number two ranked Bruins. The Cougars have never beaten a team ranked that high. We pick things up in the second quarter. Washington State State leads by seven. Eleonora Villa is going to bury it from three. Cougars lead by ten. Now, still in the second quarter, it's Charlize Ledger Walker dribbling past her defender, stepping up and knocking it down from long distance. Washington State led by 16 at halftime. Now, after the break, scary moment right here. UCLA scores the bucket. WSU takes it out, and they're going to be pushing it up the floor. Ledger Walker breaks ahead of the pack, has an open lane, but falls to the ground in pain. We're going to take another look at that one. As you can see on the replay, Ledger Walker's knee just buckles underneath her right at the end of the play. She had to be taken off the floor and would not return. So that means WSU had to finish the job without their star player Ledger Walker in the game. UCLA, they're ranked number two in the country for a reason. They made a run. Kiki Rice inside, makes a move, gets the bucket and the foul. That cuts it to a three-point game. Now, eight seconds to go. Cougars still lead by three UCLA looking to tie it up charisma Osborne can't get it to go rice is going to have a chance to tie the game she's going to throw it up right here and it banks off the rim and out and Washington State hangs on 85 to 82 it's the Cougars biggest win in program history and Bella Marekka Tete was leading the fight song with the fans afterwards it's WSU's first ever win over a top two ranked team and first win over a top five ranked team on the road a huge win for the Cougars. Now, the big question is the status of star player Charlize Ledger Walker. Head coach Cammie Etheridge had some concern after the game. She didn't think it was good, and it didn't look good. They're still waiting for tests. Of course, we'll update you on that as we get it. Washington State will get back on the court on Friday at home against Colorado. Gonzaga women's hoops won its 14th straight game on Saturday. The Bulldogs took down San Francisco 73-54. Gonzaga forward Yvonne Ejim had 21 points and 13 rebounds to lead the Bulldogs. Gonzaga also became the first team in the nation to get 20 wins. The Bulldogs will take on San Diego on the road at 6 p.m. on Thursday. Gonzaga men's basketball took care of business against Pacific on Saturday, 82-73. Bulldogs big man Graham E.K. had a game-high 20. 
20 points. Gonzaga has now won four in a row, but they have a tough week ahead. The Bulldogs will host former Gonzaga player Dom Harris and the Loyola Marymount Lions at 8 o'clock on Thursday night in the kennel. LMU upset Gonzaga in Spokane last season. Washington State men's hoops earned another quality win with the 78-69 victory over Colorado on Saturday. Cougar guards Jalen Wells and Miles Rice each had 17 points. WSU has now earned four quality wins over potential tournament teams this season. Colorado, Utah, Arizona, and Boise State. The Cougars will hit the road to take on rival Washington at 6 o'clock on Saturday. And that'll wrap us up for sports. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Sign up for the 4 News Now Daily Local at KXLY.com. Those responsible for making our local roads and highways safe for winter travel would like to remind you that snow removal is an important, critical, and precise task. Please give the right-of-way to removal equipment so we can all get where we need to go quickly and safely. Let's go! Put your hands together for the world-famous Harlem Globetrotters! This isn't just basketball, people. This is where what just happened? Happens all the time. Don't miss the Harlem Globetrotters 2024 World Tour presented by Jersey Mike Subs at Spokane Arena on January 29th. Go to HarlemGlobetrotters.com for tickets. I'm Chad Young from the EasyHomeBuyer.com. Spokane and Coeur d'Alene's easiest way to sell your house fast. If you have a few moments, I hope you'll give me the opportunity to make you an instant cash offer on your home. With the EasyHomeBuyer.com, we will buy your house in as-is condition with no repairs, no closing costs, and no commissions. To get your no-obligation cash offer, give us a call or visit us online at the EasyHomeBuyer.com. Pick up the phone to inquire. Call the Easy Home. Walker's Furniture is overstocked with over $10 million in inventory. And more shipments are arriving daily, so we're forced to have an overstock clearance sale. Get big discounts of 15, 30, even up to 40% off select items in the store. With some discontinued items up to 70% off. Our loss is your gain, as we have to make more room in our warehouses for new shipments arriving daily. So for a short time, you can get big discounts. While supplies last at Walker's. It's the place we start every day, where we prep, primp, and relax on the weekends. At Northwest Granite, we understand your bathroom is the second most used room in your home, which is why we help you pick out the perfect cabinets, tile backsplash, and countertops to make your bathroom beautiful. At Northwest Granite, we help you design it, we build them, and we will install it so you can enjoy it. Winter weather means hazardous driving conditions. If you must travel, follow these guidelines to keep everyone safe. Slow down and keep a safe following distance. Use traction tires. Give snow and emergency vehicles the right of way. Carry an emergency kit. Brought to you by Lakes, Worley, Post Falls, and Eastside Highway Districts. All right, how about this? Some spring-like weather here to start the week. Now things will start to uh, revert back towards where they should be by the mm. time we get into the weekend, but... I think this is going to be a, uh, a notable <laughs> few days here in the Inland Northwest. It's time to break out the shorts, Matt. I know. Shorts with, you know, Alex flew all the way across the country to Florida for vacation to get some sunshine. <laughs> He's now feel, look where it is now. That's right. <laughs> He's going to feel so silly. Sorry, <laughs> Alex. <laughs> See you tonight. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now.